Alright, welcome back to Unreal World with John or Jon Drekeleinen. I'll remember how to pronounce it at some point. So I've, I can see uh, I can see a bird on this water here, but there's no way I'm going to get to it. So uh, yeah, you can see animals in the distance while you're traveling like this, and you can sort of aim for them and try and get an encounter. But right, so seeing a settlement up ahead, let's go for it. Where would it be? Uh, ah, there it is. So this one's got a lot of fields around it. That's uh, promising. Because if they're a big farming settlement, they probably have a lot of people in it. It's always worth having a look behind you just to make sure there's no bears there. Because that happens. <laughs> so what have you got here? you got wolf fur and a hare fur. Both uh, quite small furs in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I can get my own furs. I don't really need to trade for those. Uh, well, then again, with my hide working skill being amateur. Hmm. Forest reindeer cuts. Forest reindeer cuts. A smoked burbot. And yeah, you've got some uh, rowan trees. You can use those for tanning as well. Uh, they got a fireplace. And a couple of sleeping racks there. And some kind of what is that? Get, gear. That is. Please make a direction you can see. God damn it! It's a bench. Okay. Yeah, you can use those to work on for the things that you need surfaces for. Of course, it's a bench. You can't sit though, as far as I can tell. So yeah, they have uh, lots of tubs in these villages, but not much in the way of trade goods, honestly. So I think we're basically just gonna have to. Oh, they have sheep's here though. Oh, look at the little sheep's. So yeah, this is probably the best village I've found so far. So I'll probably settle somewhere near here. And I don't know, it's kind of far away from the near posit. So we might not encounter them, but I could go and goad them at some point. Ah, some more houses down here. Yeah, this village is not too bad actually. Uh, that one's empty. But I saw another one here. Where'd it go? I could have sworn I saw another house just here. <laughs> I'm hallucinating. I've been eating the strange mushrooms. But anyway, yeah, so we know where that village is now. Uh, what are those? Those are lingonberries. I don't think I've ever eaten lingonberries. They don't really grow here. But uh, I've heard they are nice. So, yeah, we know where that place is now. So I'm going to go find a lake. I think there was one just to the south here, maybe. Um, yeah, there's one just here. There's also some mountains there. Uh, yeah, I mean, what you really need... Like, I've got some nets. So what I really need is some deep water. I mean, it says deep water when I try and move through the lake, but that's because I'm trying to move through an entire lake. But yeah, deep water right on the edge of the lake is what really what I'm after. So I can actually put the nets into it, because you can't put them in shallow water. So yeah, and you can see like it's light blue water all around here, so that means it's quite shallow. Whoops, nope, don't go into the water. Uh, bloody rocks in my way. Yeah, I I don't think I can ever get used to this uh, movement system, honestly. Uh, shallow enough to wade, no. So I thought the embankment was kind of steep there. Maybe it would be steep enough, but get out of my way, tree. So yeah, I'm basically just going to wander around this lake and see if I can find any deep water. I can build a raft. I mean, that's not too difficult. So... Oh, now it's raining on me. Son of a bitch. I don't even have any warm clothes. You're raining on me. No, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any luck here whatsoever. I think I may go back to where that fell trunk was that I just saw. Oh, I got some uh, stuff over here though. What is this? Uh, it's growing lake reeds. I wonder if I can make cords out of those. Uh, I don't know actually. Let's um, 
Utility articles, cord, one. Yeah, it just says 50.5 uh, pounds of cloth. That's a pretty heavy cord, actually. So, I don't know. Uh, what are those things? What is that? Uh, more lake reeds. It can be harvested after over a month. Yeah, I'm not seeing any deep water here. So, we're going to have to build a raft, I think. I can still actively fish with my fishing rod. I may just give that a go, just to see if we can do it. So, fishing rod. And we spent so many hours, three hours, and didn't catch anything. And we're going to have to eat some of our dried lynx cuts, because <laughs> we're going to starve if we don't. Uh, we're well fed though, so that's alright. Yeah, it's not looking good. Right, okay, let's uh, go back down to this side of the river. I'm going to get onto this little sort of peninsula here. That sounds good. So yeah, and there... Well, it's not very heavily forested here, actually. I'd rather have quite a bit more wood than this. And also plants as well. Like strawberries and shit. I don't even know what those things are. Some kind of weird water mushrooms. Okay, uh... Alright, let's just go back to here then. I'm so indecisive. I don't know, I'm just trying to pick somewhere that will be good. Right, so... I think it is... Build... No... Make... Transport... So we can make a raft. So we need three tree trunks, three ropes, and a cutting weapon. I am not going to get ropes anytime soon. I need to make those out of leather, basically. So, yeah, manually fishing is our only option at the moment. Active fish. And fishing rod. I think you can fish with the spear and stuff. Ah, what have we got? We've got two roaches. Uh, that's not too bad. They're sort of half decent sized fish. Alright, let's chop this tree down then. There we go, and set fire to them. And we can just roast these fish right away. And they just sort of sit on the floor by the fire waiting to be roasted. And we can do a little bit more fishing, but I mean, it might actually burn the fish in the meantime. <laughs> but I'll try and cancel it before it gets to that point. Alright, fishing rod. Because you never have enough food here. Are right, we going to cancel that? Yeah. Because it smells like our fish is burning soon. So we get those, we can taste them. And uh, it's just good. It's not, uh. It's not amazingly well cooked, but yeah, that didn't fill us up at all. We gotta fish more. Yeah, you never have enough food in this game. Uh, what did I catch? A pike! That's awesome. That's a huge fish. Alright, let's roast that. Nope. Right, I'll take a drink, because I'm looking thirsty. And we might as well fish some more. Why not? Um, I mean, yeah. Right, the pike is ready, so we'll cancel fishing. Oh, shit, I passed out. Uh, please don't be burnt. Can I... Yeah. Oh, spoiled roasted pike. I passed out before I could get my pike. And now it's spoiled because it's just been lying on the ground. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I'm so mad about that. Why did he pass out though? He couldn't have just taken like two steps and just caught, picked up the bloody fish? I mean, that's literally what I was going to do. Ah, okay. Right, that's not working, so we're going to have to say a ritual. We're going to request a skittle diver in a ballad, if I never did have a lack of a lack of a lack of consola, a palago, a kirk and a palata, a hundred ex palabus to build a runner, I rather send in a sap. Yeah. So that was that. Right, let's try fishing now then. We should be able to catch something. We caught a pike, a roach, and two breams. Hell yes, that worked. We got to cut down another tree now though. Uh, can I. Let me just. Uh, Pick this up. I'm going to sacrifice this spoiled pike. Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. We have just... We did a ritual to get some fish, and it succeeded. 
So now we've sacrificed the pike to thank nature for that. So there we go. Let's cut that down. We're getting really hungry. This is not good. And I'm bad at making fires. Make the fire. God damn it. Make fire. Oh my god, you suck. Hey, there we go. Roast. Pike first. Takes the longest. And the roach next. So we can have a snack while we're waiting for... Whoops. The two breams. There we go. Uh, let's just wait for a while. You're very hungry. Smells like the roach is ready. Let's eat it. And continue waiting. You're getting hungry. I know. Alright, so the breams are ready. One of them is tastier than the other one. That one was very tasty and devoured with great appetite. I was very hungry though, it has to be said. So yeah, now we're nourished and our stomach's full. So that's good. Okay. And is this ready yet? Well, tell me how long it takes if I try and pick it up. So it'll be ready in about an hour. So come on. I weary. Like I feel weary apparently. Like passing out and sleeping for half the day wasn't enough. Uh, I don't know. Right, so the roasted pike is ready. Should last us uh, a day or two. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's ridiculous how much you need to eat really, but. It's kind of realistic. If you live a really kind of hard lifestyle, doing manual work, like cutting down trees and shit like that. Uh, let's try our ritual again. Yeah, that never gets old. Right, uh, I'm gonna eat. Eat, eat, eat. But yeah, we're not catching anything now, and we're ready to drop as well. Too tired again. Alright, let's sleep. When we wake up in the afternoon, our sleeping schedule is buggered, but we just gotta deal with it, really. There we go. Let's get a drink of water. So, yeah, sometimes the game can just devolve into this kind of spiral of just stood around trying to fish, and just basically to survive. Alright, what did I get? Uh, a roach and two perches. Uh, why is there a stone underneath me now? I don't want the stone. Alright, let's go roast these. Cook, roast, roach. Space. And uh, roast the perches. But yeah, eventually we get to build stuff and, you know, actually explore and stuff like that. And that's all very fun. Right, so we got a roasted roach and a roasted perches. Let's see that roach, they're so small. It's ridiculous. They're basically like those little goldfish you win at the fair, so. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what do we have now? We got a bream, two perches, and a pike. Well, we've hardly got any of that bream left. So I think we can afford to move around a little bit now, at least. But. I don't know, I'm thinking that is a pretty good place to sell, honestly. Uh, yeah, we have moved quite far north. Let's turn on these regions. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, I think what I'll do is build a shelter here. Uh, is this where I was? No, I don't think it is, but it looks better than where I was. There's more trees. Yeah, see, this is where my fire was. Like, you got to think ahead as well, like if I want to build a house here, there's a bit of a slope going down to, I mean, where this fire is, there's a, an area where I could just sort of squeeze in a cabin, I guess, but I'd quite like a little bit more space to walk around on. So yeah, over here is a nice flat space here, so I could farm there and stuff. There's another little flat space here, so yeah, I like here a lot more. So, what do I need to build a shelter? Just a basic... Actually, how can I... Uh, I could build one of these coaters. I don't know if it's worth it, though, for the effort. A framework. What do I need for that? Should also be an open area all around it. Uh, okay. But yeah, the shelter, we just need three slender trunks and 20 spruce twigs. So we can collect spruce twigs from here. 
because that is a spruce tree. And how many did I get there? 18. How bloody awkward. I need 20 of them. So I think you can just sort of basically get infinite twigs from these things, but I don't know. Alright, so slender trunks. We're going to chop down a little baby tree. Oh, Let's chop that down. And that's it up. So I just stand here and we can use the, the trunks that are behind us. And just build the shelter. There we go. And a shelter. So now we can sleep in the rain. And we won't... Uh, whoops. Yeah, we won't get horrible messages telling us we can't sleep in the rain. Alright, we'll drop those twigs. Because they are of no use to us anymore. And another side effect to building a shelter is it's marked on the map. So we always know where our settlement is. It's marked on this map as well. So we can be right next to your settlement slash shelter. So, alright, I'm going to go explore the... Oh, what have I encountered? A forest reindeer. Ah, uh, okay. We shall... Oh my god, there's loads of them. Okay. Um, so yeah, this guy right next to me. I'm going to throw my spear at him. And hope to God that it doesn't stick into him and <laughs> run away. We're aiming for the body, it's the easiest. Oh my god, he fell unconscious. Well, he's just slipping, but... Oh, he just like... Went from sleeping here to over there in like no time. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna go stab it in the head and just get a free reindeer. Ah, never mind. Okay, well, I mean, I could run after them. We can follow their tracks as well. We can use the tracking skill. So that's telling us it's going to the northeast, but we'll never catch up to them. So we won't be doing that. It's a waste of energy. But that does tell me there's lots of animals around here. And that's probably a good place to build a trap fence. There's also a river. Which is quite cool, actually. So if I do eventually get around to building a raft, I can cover quite a lot of ground here. I can get all the way up to here. And then there's a land bridge, which I can push my raft across with no problem whatsoever. And then there's a big lake. So yeah, if there's anything interesting around this area... Ah, we got another settlement. Where is it? Am I next to it? Uh, I can see a dude wandering around here as well. I think it's an adventurer. Oh, it's a caramelized woodsman. Right, let's go chat with him. Hey, what's up, dude? Chat. Greet. Who are you? I am Marty. Marty, we gotta go back to the future. Uh, you got anything to trade? He's got a short bow and 11 arrows. Uh, a wooden mug. And a careful little louter fox track. Fox trap. Like seriously, I just said careful little louter. Without too much effort, and I tripped over the word trap. My goods don't interest you? Oh don't be too offended. I just wanted to have a look. I mean Oh, can't zoom out while this dude's here. Get on away. Right. Let's go have a look in his village. It looks like a reasonably big one. They got some farmland here as well. And they get kind of pissed off if you harvest their crops. <laughs> but, yeah, you might be able to sneakily do it if there's nobody watching. I've managed before to uh, steal some turnips from people. Stuff like that. Well, let's get a drink here. And eat some of our fishies. <coughs> nom nom. Oh. There we go. Excuse me. Why you all stood around watching me drink and eat? Are you some kind of fetishists? Hello. So yeah, they got a nice fireplace with a little child squirming around next to it. And they got another one of these coaters and some sheep. So that's two villages within the walking distance that have sheep. Well, that's pretty cool. They just have roasted meat lying around. Anything up here? Uh, this is a pasture, apparently. Do you have a uh, castle at all? <laughs> you can hear the sheep barring, but no, uh, nothing else. Right, what do you have in here? 
Yeah, I would like eventually to buy a dog from someone. But I haven't seen anybody around here who sells them just yet. Uh, yeah, so do they have a sage here? Those are always useful. Occasionally you wake up in like a really good mood and you get to learn another ritual, just at random, which is really nice. But then you have to go see a sage to uh, like learn how to do it properly. Ah, here we go. More houses. Uh, you got an elk fur and a wolf fur. I don't know, honestly I'm thinking I might have to trade for those at some point. Uh, squirrel fur. Yeah, I mean, furs are really good trade goods. They're quite expensive if you want to buy them. And they're quite good if you want to sell them. But there are other things. We can make stuff out of wood, like carpentry kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, what is my carpentry skill like? I'm an amateur carpenter. Well, that's not good, is it? Ooh. But yeah, what else? Cookery, eventually, you know, I could trade some smoked meat or something like that. So yeah, I kind of like this area. It's alright. It's not fantastic. I've not had the best start in the world. But it's okay. And there's animals, there's villages. There's a big lake connected to a river. And I'm lost. <laughs> oh, here I am. Here's my shelter. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, let's, um... Alright, where the hell is my shelter? Where is it? No... Yeah, I just came out of fast travel right next to it, and now I... Where the hell is it? Uh... <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh! Yeah, sometimes it's a bit weird. Like, when you start building a cabin, a wooden building, uh, you can build something like this. Basically what they have in the villages, then your the area where you're building suddenly counts as a village, like your village, and so you automatically come out of fast travel when you uh, hit it. And yeah, it brings you in at places that you wouldn't want to come out of fast travel, pretty much. That's kind of irritating. Right, I'm going to chop this into boards. Oh god, it's midnight. Okay, we'll just chop this into boards and then go to sleep. After eating some pike. Nom nom nom. <coughs> sleep. Alright, okay. Uh, you feel comfortable and safe? Oh, that was a weird message. I don't think I've seen that before. Alright, so we woke up at noon. Living the dream. And we're nearly out of food, so whatever I was going to do with those boards has to wait. We got a fish. Fishing rod. I probably should have... Oh, never mind. Well, I got a couple of roaches. I mean, they're not exactly amazing. But yeah, we'll say a ritual to get a catch. Tulen suutta sulkemaan panun päätä painamaan viskoa vilua vettä paikoille pallaan ehille. Tulen tuikin poltamille panun ehkipaistamille. Say that again. I get another roach. Fantastic. It's just what I wanted. Okay. Uh, what have I got left here? A couple of slender tree trunks and some spruce twigs. Let's just set them on fire. And cook these silly little roaches. All of them. Thank you. Yeah, I really wish I could set my nets. I mean, I guess I could try. But I know the water's too shallow. This water is not deep enough. I mean, I can try and wade out, but I don't think it's still not deep enough. Nope. So yeah, active fishing. It's all we're. Uh, it's all we got. Oh shit! Uh, my roaches—they're burning. No. Well, it does take a quite long time for them to burn, actually. Uh, let's eat all of those. They're so small and barely fucking scratches the lining of our stomach. Uh, please let me catch some fish. I don't know if I could use the nets for active fishing, actually. Uh, maybe that would be better? Mm, nope. Active fishing? Nets? No, uh, you can't... Uh, you can only set them 
Alright, active fishing, fishing rod. It's night time already. This guy just sleeps way too late. Alright, we're gonna have to eat some of this pike. Get some sleep. Sleep. Not wounds. I meant sleep. There we go. Uh, you wake up. It's actually morning. Hooray. Okay, let's drink some water. I've really got to catch something here. This is getting a little bit desperate. We've basically got like a tiny chunk of this pike left. Oh man. Let's read my ritual again. Hey, we got a pike. And a roach. Uh, what is here? Branches. I will move the poor boards. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll keep the inferior boards. We'll move these over here. And set them on fire. Because we don't want to craft anything out of these. Bloody hell, come on. Whoops. Set fire. There we go. Yeah, fire is kind of difficult when you don't have uh, fire making stuff. <laughs> I don't even know how he's doing it, really. I guess he's just rubbing two bits of wood together. Alright, so the roach is ready. Let's see the last of that previous pike. And uh, so that one will be done in a few hours. Bloody hell. It's quite a big thing, I guess. Alright, let's try and make something. Uh, utility. Well, I want to make uh, traps. They're not bad trade goods, these fox traps. Uh, yeah, we can make a few of these while we're waiting for this pike. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we can just press repeat to repeat that a few times. It smells like the roasted pike is burning soon. Oh no, the fire went out, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, to buy anything of any uh, worth, I need to make about 20 of these things, at the very least. Uh, that poor one is not going to buy anything. Nobody will trade that. Oh, I'm next to a steep hill here, apparently. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, I don't know how um, how I can set these. Alright, we'll just sort of activate them. And, uh, <laughs> no, don't walk into it. But, yeah, the fox trap is now set and ready. Don't forget to check it after a day or two. Well, I'm going to unset it, because it's a little bit dangerous to have it right next to uh, uh, my place where I sleep. But yeah, that will be part of a trap fence eventually. I'll just go drop it over here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. We got a shelter. We sort of we got an aim. We're crafting some trade goods and trying not to starve. So I think that's a good a place as any to leave this here. So I'll see you next time.